Special shout out to all my patrons. I mean, I'm right. Yellow. Hey, how's it going? It's going good. What are you here to talk about? Uh, trans men. What about them? And um, as you said, women are men. Yep. Um, my argument is that anyone that pumps testosterone or estrogen into their body, it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, you're still you're assigned sex, whether or not what you feel in your head. Is it to what is it testosterone or is it assigned sex? Because women have testosterone. They just have lower levels well, but, of it than but men. But when but but when a woman goes um has has or or decides to transition to a male, they either have bottom surgery or they have testosterone pumped in their body too. Sometimes, sometimes they don't because they just socially transition. So what is? I, I don't understand the, the your argument here. Well, as I said, even if they socially transition, they're still, they're still the gender that they were assigned. What is the gender? Sex that they, gender is a social construct. Okay, I, so... I, I I corrected myself and said sex. Okay, so then, what does sex have to do with being a man or a woman? Um, sex is what's between your legs when you're born. Uh, I would disagree with that. I think uh, sex is your gametes, um, and your gametes sometimes don't present with your with chromosomes. External... You're either X, X, XX or XY. No, uh, there are, there are multiple chromosomal matchups. XX and XY aren't the only two. Um, but your, your sex well, is dependent. If you're dependent... talking about, Can I inter- if you're talking about intersex people, intersex people only account for 0.1% of the world population. So. Yeah. The same as fucking redheads, but we still, we still talk about them when we're talking about hair color. So when it comes to your sex, that's determined by your gametes usually. Um, and those, you know, can present with either male or fe- um, female gametes, but it does, it sometimes often can re- uh, result in your uh, secondary sex characteristics, but sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes your sex has nothing to do with your secondary sex characteristics. As in, as what, what do you mean by secondary? So secondary sex what characteristics would mean? be anything that's like presentable in the body. So um, breasts um, and then, you know, gonadal sex characteristics, things like that. So, so, genitals as in male or female genitals right part of them it can also be your hair length facial hair things like that but i don't know why that has to matter when we're talking about gender why we even talk about sex because we're talking about gender well personally i'm a pretty respectful person so if if someone if I walk up to someone and I believe that they're a certain gender and I say, or, or hypothetically, if I walk up to someone that looks like a girl and I misgender them and I talk to them as if they're the different gender and they correct me, I'm not going to, I'm not going to be disrespectful. I'm going to go by whatever they identify as. Uh, like I think, I said, I'm, I think I'm not fake a respect person, is not real but... respect. And I, and I would I would honestly, I would take tolerance over respect any day. Like to like to just say to someone like, I'll respect you to your face, but behind your back, I don't think you're valid. I don't think you exist. I think you're all of that. Like, I, I just think it's feigned respect. Like, what's the point of fake respect? Just to make someone feel better. But based off of what? Because your reasons for believing that they're not women are predicated in the fact that you believe gender and sex are the same thing. No, it's it's based on I walk up to someone and they look like a woman, they have breasts, and then I I assume them as a female and I talk to them as a female and then they correct me. 
I like I'll respect them for whatever they believe, but at the end of the day, if 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 you were born a woman and you have breasts and you identify as a man, you're you're still a woman at the end of the day. What if they get their breasts cut off? You're still so you the still breasts have, have nothing to do with it. So stop talking about breasts when it has nothing to do with it. Because even if you don't have breasts, you would still say they're a woman. Okay, well, let's just say uh, what's between your legs. What if they get a sex change operation and now between their legs they have a male penis? Well, they well they still have the chromosomes of the je- of the sex that they were. So born then it's with. not about so what's between their legs. Irrelevant. It's only about their chromosomes. You keep bringing up things that don't matter in the conversation. You only care about their chromosome or, or their bone or their bone structure that they were born with. What is bone yeah, structure? No, they're, they're, what, are, what does bone structure have anything to do with this conversation? Bone structure, their re- reproductive system does not change whether or not they get bottom surgery or not. It's they still have the they still have the bone structure, the reproductive organs that they were assigned with at birth. So all you care about it doesn't, is secondary it doesn't matter sex what characteristics. You feel in your head. What is huh? here's here's a here's a great question for you, right? Why is gender linked to sex in your opinion? I'd never said that. Gender you, is a social construct. Okay. It's what you what are women and men? Are they categories of gender or categories of sex? Women and men are um what's in between their legs and what they're not what i asked i asked if women and men that's what that's exactly what you asked you asked what the difference between sex and gender is it's not what i asked gender is a social construct i asked if women and men it's not what i asked i asked if women and men are categories of gender or are they categories of sex okay um uh what, what is the definition of a woman explain please why are you why are you pivoting i'm not pivoting i'm not you are i I asked you a question that you you refuse to answer you you keep asking the same exact question you didn't answer my question you didn't tell me whether women and men are categories of sex or categories of gender you didn't answer that question men and women are a sex okay you think men and women are categories of sex then why don't we call dogs women why don't we call dogs men why aren't lions women? Why aren't why aren't female trees? Why aren't they women? They still cor- they still correlate to they that, still have their own sex. Asked. They are able. Why don't we call that them is women? Exactly what you asked. No, a, a why lion, don't we call them women? A lion. There's either a male lion or a female lion. Yeah. Why isn't there no a woman? Lion, why is no there not a woman out lion? There is saying that oh I have I have female organs but. I, I identify as a male. No why lion don't we on the call face lions the women? Says that. Why not? So why is it any you different? You said for gender. Humans? You said women and men are sex categories. So if there yep. are, if lions have sex, why don't we call them women lions or male lion or men lions? Why do we call them male we and do. female? We don't call them lions we do. women. We don't call lions women. We say hey 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 we're on a African safari and that lion over there he's got a dick. So no, we don't. Nobody says obviously, that. Obviously, we would assume that hey, you know, like that lion is a male, right? Would we not? Male, not man. So it's category of sex. Male is a category of sex, but man is not. Correct. Repeat that. What, what did you just say? Male. Like what you just said, male is absolutely a sex category. So we use male to talk about anything's sex. So lions have a male sex. Dogs have a male sex. Trees have a male sex. But we don't call them women and men because women and men are not sex categories. They're gender categories. So when we talk about gender, gender is solely unique to people. Because gender it's a social changes construct. exactly. So women it's and what men, what you feel in your brain. Women and men are socially constructed roles that we use to identify certain traits or behaviors. They are not inherently tied to our biological sex. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. <laughs> okay, so so you're bringing animals into this, right? 
Okay. Well, we are animals, so yeah, we animals were in, to, in it the whole time. Okay, so name any other animal on the planet that has a certain gender that they identify as. No Please. other animal has gender. That's what my whole point. That's what I just said. Okay, we are so the only creatures said, with gender. We're animals too, so why do we think that way because we are creatures that categorize things we categorize everything because it helps it make sense in our monkey brain so we categorize everything that's the reason why like we categorize things to be chairs or certain things to be tables we categorize things by race by gender we categorize things by like the job you do we're creatures of category yeah. so, so yeah we exactly. created so we gender we, categor we categorize people by their genitals hold on their we created structure. gender <laughs> As a way to, ca it's not by a bone structure. We didn't even know about the male-female bone structure when we created gender, so that's not true. The reproductive system. We created gender as a category to explain to make people not feel only, better about their feelings. Can I finish? Which don't matter. Can I finish? Go ahead. To explain, if feelings don't matter, why do you res why do you give people respect? Because I'm not, I'm not out to. Yeah, now you look stupid. Start <laughs> any random beef was? with anyone. See how easy that was? So we use gender <laughs> to categorize oftentimes, but bi sometimes biological, oftentimes more than not social or external traits that have nothing to do with biology. That's why we say women wear pink or bait or girls wear pink, boys wear blue. That's why oftentimes we'll say women typically have longer hair, things like that. These are not traits associated with your sex, but they're bio they're um not biological, they're social characteristics and categories that you can fit in under the the framework of man and woman. Some civilizations like the indigenous people, um indigenous tribes had a third gender that they recognized that was neither man nor woman. It was a completely third thing. And they recognize this because gender shifts and changes dependent on your uh, society and your class structure. Okay, so what 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 gender did they <laughs> what gender did, did they believe? Well because they from my understanding but... male and female reproduce, not male and whatever Again, Gender male and female are of. categories of sex, and I'm not talking about male and female. I'm talking about categories well, of I mean, gender, you're a completely which are gender men and this. women. I mean, a completely different sex. Into this, which... I'm not talking about sex. I at no so what, point have what mentioned genitals did sex. They, have, the indigenous they people. didn't what, care what? about genitals because gender to them was not a genital structure. Gender How did was they something... reproduce then? Why, you, you don't understand the difference between sex they... and gender. Jesus Christ. Dog, this ain't hard. So how did they believe in a completely different uh, sex? <laughs> they didn't believe in a different sex. They believed in a different gender. Okay, well, as I said before, gender is a social construct. It's something that you believe inside of your head. But at the end of the day... <laughs> Do social constructs mean things aren't real? Not necessarily. Okay, then. So even though gender is a social construct, which it has to be, because it only exists for people, it doesn't exist in animals, then we can recognize that gender can change based on the society you live in because it's socially constructed. See how easy that is? No. No what? No is not a response. You're bringing up the indigenous people and how they believe that there was a different gender, right? Correct. They believed and in a third gender agreed, separate of man and woman. As we both agreed earlier, gender is a social construct. Gender is not what's between your legs, right? Correct. Do we agree on that? Well, okay. yeah, I've been very, very so that's something that, adamant that's about something that. that they... That's something that they were born up in, and that's something that they believed from people around them, right? 
Yes, because gender is changes based on the society you you live in. Yes. Okay. But gender doesn't have anything to do with what's between your legs. Correct. Correct. Okay, so why are you bringing up indigenous people? <laughs> Bro, please. Uh, do you do you hear yourself? I do hear myself. I don't think you do, bro. This I, I is do, genuinely honestly. embarrassing. For you, yeah. Gender does not equate to your biological secondary, not always. Let me rephrase that. Gender does not always equate to your biological sex characteristics. So the indigenous tribes having a third gender has nothing to do with what's between their pants. Zero. Nothing. It, that did. That was not a factor in them deciding your. It's a social construct. So what? What does the indigenous people have to do with today's society? Because were indigenous tribes not social tribes? Did they not exist in their own society? Is this not showing that gender as a social construct can shift and change? So to rigidly say gender has to be sex doesn't make sense which is what you've been saying since the start of this conversation, that gender is your sex characteristics, your chromosomes. You keep saying man and woman is your chromosomes, okay, but, the, but the, gender but listen, is socially people, constructed. Make it make sense. Pick a side. So the indigenous people that believe that there was a different gender. So what, what makes them different from any, anyone else? The people that believe that they were a different gender. What what gender is this that you're that you're trying to say? Uh, I think it was called third eye. I haven't done a lot of research on what it was specifically, and I'm not an indigenous person, so can't give you a I can't give you a large rundown of like how they they. Okay, sort of so why are you bringing two this spirit? Into the Sorry, guys, two spirit. At, thank you, thank you, two spirit. Because this was about this was about people transitioning. When I first joined in here, that, that was the oh, conversation. You you said that men you and women completely off, to, went completely no one's off gone off discussion. No one's gone off. You just don't understand anything we're talking about. We I quite literally you, haven't gone off the I anywhere. told you I told you that gender and sex were two completely different things. And you kept you kept then how, if it in. gender and sex are different, then how are trans men and women not men and women? Because it's what they feel in their head. All gender is what we feel in our head. Yes. So then how are trans men and women not men and women? Because of what's between their legs. That's when they sex. Were born. You said sex and gender are different. So how are trans men and women not men and women? Because. Because is not an answer. <laughs> You're kidding me right now, right? Bro, I'm, not, I'm not the one that Someone, looks dumb. Okay, listen, listen, listen. Transgender and sex correlate on a different level, right? So someone who transitions to a different gender feels that they are actually that sex. When they transition to that sex, that doesn't mean that they are trans men and women don't transition to a new sex. They transition to a new gender. That's why it's called transgender, not trans sex. Nah, man. Nah, man is not a response. Because <laughs> you're just giving subtle responses. I didn't You're give a subtle me response. Me I gave a, I gave, I gave a very concrete rebuttal to what you said, and your response was "nah, man." No, make it make sense, bro. You're all over the place right now, and he's gone. <laughs>